If you want to see Emily Fox, today's video is going to be a new video on the newest shade of the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. I got the two more wearable shades and I'm going to do as I've been doing every time she comes out with new shades, aka comparing it to uh, the ones I currently own and then comparing them to the closest ones that I have from like other brands color-wise, uh, maybe also MAC even though they're physical lipsticks, just to give you an idea what the color actually looks like because seeing online a bunch of different skin tones too, it can be difficult sometimes to figure out how it's going to be on you. And then I'm going to be doing a wear test, probably half-half on my lips so you can see how colors perform and then we'll see if the formula is the same for everything. So I'm excited. I haven't even swatched them yet. I have to say, just to uh, just bring them outside of the box, I feel like the color, this one was Unlock, which is like gorgeous fuchsia color. And then Unattached, is it me or like I expected this to look like an orangey red coral and I feel like it's a lot more muted. And it's not that I not liking the shade, it's just that it's not what I expected. I really thought it was going to be like a like Lady Danger by MAC type of color, but it's not. So we're gonna have to see how actually that swatches. Maybe they will look different once they are swatched on my hand. Because I remember the other nudes drying out darker. Let's see. Once it's swatched, it's definitely less muted pastel. So let me just swatch all of them. <laughs> it's crazy how like one swipe you get all the intensity you need. They're so pigmented. Let me attempt to do it for the last color. <laughs> like literally. Boom. Okay, I feel like you can kind of tell that, isn't it a lot more pastel than you expected? Like, let me grab the box again. Like, I really thought it was going to be an orangey red. Again, we'll see. I feel like it's just a lot more white base than expected. And I would be curious to see how it looks on deeper skin tone. Really, I'm sure it's gonna look just fine because they are meant to fit like every skin tone slash more, most people. I feel like sometimes some colors, especially the crazier she goes, the more people are gonna be like, oh, I'm not sure I can pull it off, but it still looks fine on them. I feel like people are definitely intimidated by brighter shades, but I'm excited by them. So let's uh, let those dry on my hands and let me find the closest shades I can, liquid lipstick wise, in my collection. So I have four that I think should be close enough to be worth comparing to. So let me swatch it all on my arm. I mean, the goal here is not to find like exact dupes. It's just to give you an idea if you own, for example, the other shades that I'm swatching or if you have seen them in person, you can kind of compare in your head what the shade will look like in person. I mean, I still found some pretty similar shades though. <laughs> okay, so from left to right, you have the Fenty Beauty one. And then you have the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in uh, Electric Coral which seems to be a little bit more orange than the Fenty Beauty one, hopefully. The lighting is so difficult to figure out in those close-ups, so hopefully the lower I put it, the better it's gonna be for you. So yeah, definitely a little bit more orangey. And then I have the Dose of Color uh, Liquid Lipstick in Coral Crush, which isn't that far off. I feel like it looks maybe a bit lighter. Then you have the uh, Sephora Liquid Lipstick, Cream Lip Stain. I actually don't have the number on the bottom of my lipstick, so I'll put it on the screen. And then last but not least, I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Ibiza, which is the least closest. I feel like, oh, I didn't say, but the Sephora one is a little bit more white base, and the Ibiza is definitely more muted mauve, I guess, than True Coal compared to the other ones, but still gives you an idea of the shade range. Okay, so now I have uh, some of the pinks. I'm noticing now that I went way brighter pink than the Fenty Beauty one, but for some reason, those are the ones that look the most similar. I'll go back and see if I can find anything closer. But the first one is definitely the closest one, in my opinion, and it is the uh, Dose of Color Pinky Promise shade. And then I have the Maybelline Romantic Liquid Lipstick. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rio. And then I have the Sephora Cream Lip Stain 08. The Kat Von D uh, Backstage Bambi and then the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa. So yeah, definitely uh, after like the, even the Maybelline one is definitely more mauve -y. I don't have that many things that are very similar to this. So let me go back and see, but that seems to be it for me. I guess the color is more unique than I expected. So at the bottom is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 03. You can definitely see it's way more red. On top is the uh, Wet n Wild. This is the uh, liquid cat suit in Oh My Dolly. And then on top, I have the Kat Von D Miss Argentina color. And after that, I have the uh, Too Faced Bend and Snap, and that's definitely a lot more berry. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually su surprised I don't have anything closer to that, but hey, that's a good sign. Okay, so I tried to find the closest colors I could find in my MAC lipstick collection. And right here is 
uh, Girl About Town. Yes, it's an amplified finish and it's a pretty, pretty popular color and it seems to be definitely lighter and more pinky, less like fuchsia. And then I tried to find some for the coral shade. Damn you, angles. This is so weird. Um, so I included Lady Danger just to show you because I feel like it's a very popular color. And you can see it's definitely more orangey. And I feel like this one, which is, uh, is it fake? This one is Toxic Tell. I feel like it has a similar idea of like being a little bit muted, but it's definitely not as dark. So I went to wash my arm before I made the biggest mess in history. Uh, I hope it gave you a little bit of an idea what the colors look like and uh, how they compare maybe to lipstick you've seen or owned. I'm just gonna remove uh, the lip balm I'm wearing before I apply the liquid lipsticks. Um, actually, maybe I should apply a fresh coat next to these just to show you if they do become darker because I have a feeling the other shades did. So if you like quickly see it freshly swatched maybe. Yeah, I feel like they tend to dry a little bit like brownier for the nudes and like the more coral shade. Hopefully, do you see it? I don't think, actually, let me do a biggest swatch because that was a tiny. I do feel like the coral tends to dry a tiny bit more brown, but it's fine. Every single time I apply these, I'm surprised how, first off, I don't even need to go back and dip for more product. There's enough on the applicator. And the round applicator, at first I was like, oof, like if you have a sharp Cupid's bow, it might not be easy. But I haven't had an issue. Obviously, I don't have the sharpest one, but still a little, and no, it hasn't been a problem. Now, I really like this color. This is gonna be so fun for like the spring and summer. Now let's try the pink your shade. It kind of tickles, I feel like. <laughs> Anyone else? I feel like every time I apply these, I'm like, ugh, ticklish on the lips. Okay, it's definitely not the most flawless application ever, but I feel like it's kind of hard every time I do half half my lips. So my prediction, I feel like the lightest one seems like it's gonna be one that tend to emphasize the lines on my lips a lot more than the average liquid lipstick, or at least more than this side. Maybe because there's a little bit of a white base to it, and generally speaking, they're a lot less forgiving. I'm gonna zoom you in once it's dry, but it seems like it's gonna be like that. Like, just like this, I feel like it's already kind of cracking, which is unfortunate because I really like the color. Can you tell? Just smiling, you can see the line here and not on this side. I feel like it's definitely obvious in the middle and I obviously I'm only wearing half so I feel like if it were all over it would be very obvious. So I don't know if it's has had enough time but let's do the uh, kiss test and I'll keep doing it throughout the day so you can see. If it's the same formula as the other ones it does transfer. <laughs> oh my. I'm getting tired, the French is coming out. <laughs> uh, whenever uh, I like, kiss my hand or like drink water or something, there is some transfer, but uh, the colors will still be on my lips and it's very comfortable for me throughout the day. I don't feel like it's very drying. I'm not super sensitive to dryness, but still. So let's see how, so you can see. There's a bit of transfer, it's nothing dramatic. It didn't move around on my lips, which is the most important part for me. Now I'm just gonna go on with my day and hope for the best. I'm kind of glad I was going to only choose one color to wear and I'm glad I did too because I'm not sure they're gonna be uh, wearing the same way. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap or something because damn, <laughs> can't speak. I will see you later. Time for an update. I had completely forgotten to tell you the time before I left. It was about like nine in the morning, so. And it's now about three in the afternoon, so it's been like six hours and I may have had a nap. I definitely had food and lost a drink and I wanted to update you on the lipsticks. I waited this long because honestly, at this point I kind of know how it's gonna wear if it's similar to the other ones and no changes. Uh, thumbs up, la uh, lasted super well and I have like carrot in between my teeth. <laughs> but yeah, the lipstick are still looking great. Uh, there is transfer, like you can see on my glass of water. There's definitely some transfers here, but it's still like, water resistant, it's food resistant. I didn't eat anything too messy like chicken and sweet potato, it's not that bad, but. But I wanted to update you and I am happily surprised <laughs> that uh, the coral shade ended up wearing nicely. I have like no complaint. I do still feel like you can see the line on my lips more on this side, but uh, I was so afraid it was going to disappear like this and not an issue, so. Transfer test. There is actually more transfer now than there was uh, 
uh, earlier today. It might be because I just took a sip of water, to be honest. But still, uh, it's nothing terrible. It's still all over my lips. My issue whenever there's transfer, it's more if it's like a like creamy transfer. And if I like do this, it's gonna be all over my face. That's more what I'm concerned about than like any transfer like this. So yeah, so far so good. My lips are not feeling dry as of yet. It might change uh, a little bit later, but yeah. I'll see you in a few more hours. Okay, so last update of the day. It's seven o'clock, so it's been pretty much 10 hours that I've been wearing these lipsticks. And I mean, from this distance, can you even tell that anything happened? I think not. And I just had like a big salad and everything, so it was definitely a lot messier than whatever I was eating throughout the day. There's still some transfer on like, can you tell the lighting? I feel like I have to put the lights pretty bright because it's so dark outside, but like there's still transfer like on glass water and stuff, but like Let me zoom you in. This is what the lipsticks look like from up close. They look fine when I'm just normally Not moving smiling and It's just on the inside that it faded because again, I've been eating and drinking water and everything and there is transfer Let me do it again So there is transfer still but there's just so much pigment on the lips that it just lasts throughout the day so well. My lips are not feeling dry whatsoever. And I'm so impressed by the uh, coral shade. I was really expecting it to not last well. And I'm super happy with both. Zooming you out a little bit because I'm pretty sure I still have like food stuck in my teeth because I literally just finished eating. But like, there's nothing more to say that I am giving both of these a thumbs up. I know she also just came out with a dark purple one. I didn't get it just because I knew I wasn't going to get as much use as I will with these two for the summer. These are gonna be so fun. I feel like the pink one is definitely pretty universal and this one is gonna be so fun for the spring and summer. Definitely recommend it. I will actually have to go and look up what it looks like on other people because I'm just so curious to see how it's gonna work for everyone. So this is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to not miss any future videos. I will be putting on the screen the videos that, that I've done, including uh, actually some of the other videos reviewing the other colors. If you're curious to see what they look like on me and how they compare to other shades. And I will see you in another video. Bye.